We have 12 hours in this class. It's not just a sound bite. We have the opportunity to develop some ideas and, and look and see how things work together. So thank you all for being here, because for Karen and I, this is what we get excited about. This is our idea of fun. And yeah, that makes us nerds, but what the heck. We're cool nerds. We could talk about this for years and still not cover everything. It's just amazing how much information is out there. Vitamin B12 is involved in the production of our genetic code. It's involved in the synthesis of serotonin. It's a test of the functional status of human bioactive B12, a lesser known test, but a very valuable one. Now plants contain a lot of very beneficial compounds. So let's take a look at iron. So here's what the salad looks like. So if we add that to our salad here, we have 16.2 milligrams of iron. And there's a picture of our smoothie. Let's take a look at zinc. Now zinc is an interesting mineral. There's a variety of places you can get zinc, and those are some good places to start. It's not just about getting enough calcium. It's also considering all of the other nutrients that calcium interacts with. There's a lot of things that we need to consider when it comes to calcium. Let's just say you decided to do something crazy, and you decided that you were going to get the majority of your calories from fresh fruits and vegetables, and include a fair amount of leafy greens in your diet. So you could easily get two grams of alpha-linolenic acid. Hormone receptors that are embedded within the fatty acid layer are influenced by the structure and the electrical characteristics of the fat that make up the cell membrane. Can our body take this stuff, ALA, flax, chia, hemp, leafy greens, fresh fruits and vegetables, and convert it into EPA and DHA, the relative amount of all the different fats in your cell membranes? Mm -hmm.